smells swell. Yes, and it won't stick to the pan, thanks to polytetrafluoroethylene. Polytetra what? It's a type of polyfluoroalkyl substance, or PFAS for short. PFAS are a type of chemical that resist heat, stains, water and grease, so that my pancakes slide right off the pan. After PFAS chemicals were invented in the 1930s, they revolutionised the manufacturing industry. With Armour Coat, it lifts out quickly and cleanly. Because they repel both oil and water, they were really useful in all sorts of things. Peels right off. From stain-resistant carpets to cookware to building materials. These have been overcome by applying a special cement-based waterproof paint. Today, there are more than 4,000 different types of PFAS and they're still used in heaps of products. But there's a problem. Because of their strong chemical bonds, PFAS resist everything and they don't break down. Is that why they're called forever chemicals? Sure is. PFAS chemicals can stick around for thousands of years. They dissolve in water and can disperse in the air, which means they can spread throughout the environment. And over the years, we've started to find them in places they're not supposed to be, including inside of us. Recently, studies have linked PFAS exposure to a bunch of serious health problems, which is why stories like these have made headlines. There are now thousands of families in communities around the country affected by an unfolding scandal over chemical contamination. It's contaminated with so-called forever chemicals. Cancer-linked chemicals were discovered in the city's water supply. In 2017, the water supply of Catherine in the NT had to be restricted because of PFAS contamination, which came from firefighting foam used at the local airport. Since then, PFAS has been found in other waterways. Last year, it was found in a platypus in the Windjakarabi River in Baurol. It prompted some local students from Barrel High School to do something. PFAS is a problem. It affects us all, so we've all come together and created an app that will help and drive change. Henry, Chloe and Meg are part of a team of five students who've come up with an app designed to give people information about PFAS and help them identify products at the supermarket which contain forever chemicals. Our vision is that we have a um, product in Woolies that may contain PFAS and you can go up and scan it and then you can just be informed on where it came from, if it has PFAS in it and possible alternatives that will, could be PFAS free and serve the same purpose. The idea won them a prize at the Game Changer Challenge competition in New South Wales. And now they're in talks with members of their state parliament to try and take it a step further by bringing in laws that would force companies to label whether or not their products contain PFAS. We're on board with the idea, so they're helping us set up a parliamentary petition, which basically means that if you get, I think it's 10, 20,000 online yeah, 20, signatures. 20,000 online signatures. 20,000 online signatures, it has to be debated in parliament. As we've learned more about the dangers of PFAS, many companies and governments around the world have taken steps to reduce the amount that's used. Earlier this year, Australia banned three types of PFAS, which are known to be the most harmful. But many experts and advocates say more needs to be done, which is why these guys are pushing so hard for change. If you feel fear about something, make sure you go learn about it. Information is power. Learn about it and talk about it. That's how you make a change.